Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to open up a command prompt when your computer is starting up in Windows 10. So there are a couple different methods to boot into a command prompt window. The first and probably one of the easier ways would be if you had your Windows 10 installation media device. So whether it be a flash drive or a CD-ROM and you put it in the computer when it was starting up, there's an option while you are going through Windows setup to repair your computer. And from that, you're able to get into the advanced options that we are about to go into. But assuming you do not have any installation media at your disposal, um, do not fear as long as you can boot into Windows, that is perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is head down to our start button. Then we're going to left click on settings. Under settings, we want to left click on update and security. Then on the left side here, you want to left click on recovery. And then underneath where it says advanced startup, left click on restart now. This will launch the same settings that we would have otherwise been able to access if we still had our Windows 10 installation media. So this will take a few moments and just be patient. So at this point we're underneath choose an option. We want to left click on troubleshoot. It says reset your PC or see advanced options. So left click on that. And then you want to left click on advanced options again. Now we see on the far right side here, we have a command prompt option. It says you use a command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. So this will take a few moments again, and then you will need to make sure you have your administrator username and password before you're able to access the command prompt. Alright, so you have to choose an account to continue. Remember, it has to be an administrative account. And then you'll be prompted for a password. Once it's done verifying, you will have access to an elevated command prompt. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.